Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be covering what is Scrum methodology and Kanban methodology. And also I'll explain the difference between Scrum methodology and Kanban methodology. Guys, I have uploaded a complete DevOps subject tutorials. I'll provide that link in description you can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. Guys, we can implement Agile process by using four methodologies. They are first one is extreme programming. Shortly we call it as XP. Second one is future driven development. Shortly we call it as FDD. Third one is Kanban and fourth one is Scrum. Normally by using these four methodologies, we can implement agile process. But mainly most of the software companies use only these two methodologies. They are Kanban and Scrum methodologies. So in this video, I will explain what is Kanban methodology and Scrum methodology. At first, I will explain what is Scrum methodology. Agile is basically a process model, whereas Scrum is a kind of framework through which we will develop, test and release software. Guys, as we know, Agile is nothing but, Agile is a process. Process is nothing but, sequence of steps that we need to follow in order to develop any software. Whereas framework will provide you guidance and tools in order to complete process. In simple terms, Agile process will say you what to do. Whereas Scrum framework will tell you how to do it. So Agile process will say you what to do. And whereas Scrum framework will say you how to do it. So Agile contains principles. That principles will tell you how process must be. And whereas Scrum is a framework that follows Agile principles. As we know, these are various steps in Agile process. So Agile process will tell you by following these steps, we can develop any particular software. But how to complete this process? That is how to plan, how to design, how to develop, how to test, what are tools and techniques that we need to use. All this guidance will be provided by Scrum framework. So Scrum is a framework through which we will build software product by following Agile principles. This Scrum framework will follow Agile principles. Guys, before explaining this Scrum topic, you need to know what is Epic and what is Story. Guys, for example, I am college owner. I'll go to software company and then I will tell product manager, I want one college software. This is considered as Epic. So Epic is a description of what client wants or you can also say it as what client needs. I just said that I want college software, but I did not say that how college software must be. So I'm not telling any functionalities. Just I said that I want college software. So Epic is a description of what client wants or client needs with less functionalities or no functionality details. It will not provide any functionalities. So Epic is nothing but Epic is a big work. So this big work can be divided into smaller user stories. Each story will describe one future. So story is nothing but so user stories are simple and short descriptions of your future told by customers or users for his product. For example, I'm user or customer. I said that I want Kali website. So this Kali website is considered as epic. And again, I said that in that Kali website, I want student login form, faculty login form, student attendance, faculty attendance, student marks, student results, and so on. Student login form is one future. Faculty login is one future. Student attendance is one future. Faculty attendance is one future. Faculty details is one future and so on. So each future is considered a story. So epic is a big work and this big work can be divided into smaller stories. So basically we consider each feature as one story. So now you know what is epic and what is story. Guys in software companies, they don't call description or futures. They will call epic and stories. So that is why you need to remember these terminologies. For example, software company want to develop one software by using Scrum methodology. So that Scrum team must contain these employees. They are product owner, Scrum master, software developers and software testers. So approximately this team contains five to nine members. This is complete Scrum team. Now I will explain what is role of this product owner, scrum master, developers and testers in detail. At first I will explain what is role of this product owner. Product owner is the person who always contact to customer and collect the futures of the product from customer and he will arrange all those futures based on priority or importance. And finally he will accept or reject work results. If customer is satisfied with product, then product owner will accept work done. If customer is not satisfied, then he will reject work done by developers and testers. Guys in Scrum team, what product owner will do is, product owner will meet customers. For example, I am college owner, I want college software. So this product owner will come to me and then he will collect futures of my product. For example, in the software I said that I want student login form, employee login form, student attendance and so on. So student login form is considered as one future, employee login form is considered as another future, student marks is considered as another future, Employee attendance and student attendance is considered as under future. So product owner, after collecting all futures from customers, he will arrange all futures based on priority 
are based on importance. For example, if you consider college software, in that college software, student login is one of the important future. So after student login, faculty login is another important future. So we will arrange all futures based on priority. Guess we call these futures as stories. So stories which has highest priority is arranged at first and stories which has least priority is arranged at last. And this product owner will place all these futures in this product backlog. So product backlog contains list of user stories prepared by product owner. So this is role and responsibility of product owner. Product owner will interact with customers and then he will collect futures of particular software and he will arrange all those futures in product backlog based on priority. So we call these futures as stories. Next selection, what is role of Scrum Master? Guys, the main role of Scrum Master is to handle entire agile process. He will take care of entire process from starting to till delivery of the project. He will completely look at how development of software is going on and he will establish team communication and remove blockers. And all meetings are organized by Scrum Master. Scrum Master will conduct daily meetings. Either it can be offline meeting or online meeting. In the Scrum meeting, he will join all employees like developers, testers, and then he will ask employees that what you did yesterday and what you will do today. By conducting daily meetings, Scrum Master can easily identify how work is going on and he can easily track how team is working. He can handle entire agile process by conducting daily meetings. And third type of employees are developers. As we know, developers will write code. And fourth one is QA team. That is nothing but testing team. Testing team will test code which is written by developers. These are four types of employees involved in a Scrum team. Guys, now I will explain how entire Scrum process will work. Guys, we can also call customers as users or stakeholders. Product owner will collect futures of the product from customers and then he will place that futures or stories in product backlog based on priority. And from product backlog, stories which has highest priority is placed in sprint backlog for development. For example, if you consider college software, in that college software, student login has highest priority, for example. So product owner will place the story in sprint backlog. Whenever product owner plays the story in sprint backlog, developer will start developing code for that particular story. Guys, normally there are 5 to 10 employees involved in Scrum team. As I already said before, in this development process, there will be Scrum master. What he will do is, he will conduct meetings on daily basis. Every day he will conduct meetings. We call that meeting as daily Scrum meeting. In the Scrum meeting, all team members are involved, including developers and testers. And the scrum master will ask the team members that what you did yesterday and what you will do today. And also you can easily understand how development process is going on. Guys, normally in order to develop one user story, it will take approximately one to four weeks of time. And we call this time as sprint. So time taken to complete each story is known as sprint. For example, initially for college software, at first they need to design student login form. So student login form is considered as one story. And time given to complete this user story is approximately one to four weeks. So we call it as one sprint. So immediately after completion of each sprint, they will conduct a sprint retrospective meeting. Sprint retrospective meeting is nothing but meeting which is conducted after completion of each sprint. In this retrospective meeting, all team members are involved, including product owner. In this meeting, they will discuss what went wrong and what went correct. Is there any improvement further? How to improve future? They will discuss all these topics in this meeting. And after that, they will conduct a sprint review. They will show that particular story to user. If customer likes that story, Scrum Master will accept. If customer don't like that story, simply Scrum Master will reject the work done by developers and testers. So again, they need to start that story from first. So again, after user accepting this, again, they will take new story and they will keep on updating the same software. So in Scrum method, initially they will develop software with very basic features and then they will keep on updating the same software with new features. So this Scrum method will follow agile process. Guys, these are new terminologies that we used in the Scrum method. They are Epic, Story, Product Backlog, Product Backlog contain user stories. And next is Sprint. Sprint is nothing but time taken to complete each user story is known as Sprint. User stories which has highest priority is placed in Sprint Backlog for development. And next is Scrum Meeting. Scrum Meeting is conducted by Scrum Master every day. And he will ask what you did yesterday and what you will do today. And next to terminology is Sprint Retrospective Meeting. After completion of each sprint, they will conduct a sprint retrospective meeting. In that meeting, all members are involved, including Scrum Master and Product Owner. In that meeting, they will discuss what went wrong, what went well, and any improvements further in upcoming sprint. They will discuss everything. This is all about Scrum methodology. Next question, what is Kanban methodology? Kanban is also one of the methodology that follow agile process. 
Kanban framework is also based on one of the philosophy that is continuous improvement. That is, we need to develop software with very basic features and then we need to keep on updating the same software with new features. So this Kanban framework is based on the philosophy that is continuous improvement. Where work items are pulled from a product backlog into a study flow of work. Thus, this is how Kanban methodology will work. Initially in Kanban methodology, complete work is divided in the form of cards. This Kanban board contains three columns. They are to do, doing and done. Initially some cards are taken and then they are placed in to do column. That is work is not yet started. Software developers must pick these cards and then they must write code. Whenever software developers are writing code for that particular card, they are in doing state. After completely development and testing, cards are placed in done stage. So Kanban board contains three stages. They are to do stage, doing stage and done stage. As entire work of software is divided in the form of cards, only some cards are placed in to do stage. They will not place complete cards in to do stage. Initially, they will pick only few cards. In many of the companies, limited card number is only three. Initially, they will take first three cards and then they will complete work. And again, after that, they will take another cards. This is how they complete project by using Kanban methodology. So this Kanban methodology is one of the popular methodology of the Scrum methodology. Kanban board is a form of visual project management. In a Kanban board, tasks are represented as cards and move through stages of work represented as columns. Each stage is represented as columns. This Kanban method was developed by Taichi Ono. He is a Toyota engineer from Japan. He developed this method in late 1940s in order to improve Toyota production system. Basically, Toyota is car company. These are some of the principles in Kanban methodology. And the first one is visualize the work. As Kanban board is visual representation, by seeing Kanban board, we can easily understand how much work is done. And next principle is limited work in progress. As I already said before, they will place only few cards on Kanban board. They will place only few cards on Kanban board. And third principle is manage workflow. Main focus is continuously flow of work. That is, initially they will take some cards and then they will perform development and testing and immediately after that they will take another cards and they will perform development and testing. So this process flow on. And fourth principle is implement feedback loops. This team will conduct feedbacks. They will identify issues and solve a problem. And last principle is improvement. Initially they need to develop software with very basic features and then they need to keep on updating same software with new features. Okay, these are differences between Scrum and Kanban. In Scrum work is divided in the form of sprint. Whereas in Kanban work is visualized on Kanban board. In Scrum, how to complete software? This planning is done before each sprint. And for each sprint, there is fixed time, that is one to four weeks. And whereas in Kanban, there is no fixed time. For example, one card is completed in one day. Immediately, they need to take next card and they need to keep on working. And third one is, in Scrum, there is product backlog. In this product backlog, all user stories are arranged based on priority. Whereas in Kanban, there is no fixed backlog. Whenever Kanban board is free, Items are taken from product to backlog and then they are placed on Kanban board. In Scrum, daily meetings are conducted by Scrum Master. But whereas in Kanban, there are rare meetings. Only if team needs, they will conduct meetings. Scrum contains cross-functional team. Cross-functional team is nothing but there are different teams involved to develop project like testing team, development team, product manager, Scrum Master and so on. Whereas in Kanban, roles are not fixed. Team members must change roles based on project. So Scrum contains Product Manager, Scrum Master and Development and Testing Team. And whereas in Kanban, there are no proper roles because roles keep on changing based on project. These are differences between Scrum and Kanban.